Good Sunday morning to you. We want to welcome you again to the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield, North Carolina. And if you don't have a church to attend or you're looking for a church to attend, I want to take time to invite you to come be with us in any or all of our services. Our Sunday morning services start at 10 o'clock. We have Sunday school preaching at 11, Sunday nights at 6, Wednesday nights at 7. We're located at 1233 Collins Town Road in Westfield, North Carolina. We also have an FM transmitter for those that are unable to come inside due to sickness or disability. They can sit in the parking lot in their vehicle, tune their radio to 92.9 FM, and hear what's going on during our service times. If you'd ever like to correspond by mail, you could send that to 275 Toast Road, Mount Airy, North Carolina, 27030. Thank you so much for being with us this Sunday morning or whenever you're viewing. We trust that this would be a help to you, an encouragement to you. That's our heart's desire, to be a help to somebody. And we can't do that without the Lord's help, that's for sure. And be taking that good old authorized King James Bible this morning. Be turning with us to the book of Luke, chapter number 19. Luke, chapter number 19, with the help of the Lord. This is where we want to look at today. And uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer and ask God to help us. And I trust you'll pray with us and pray for us. I always need the Lord's help. And uh, I, I know that, and I thank God that God will help me. I sure am thankful for that. So let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer, and we'll pray together. Father, thank you so much for the privilege to pray this morning. Lord, I pray you'd bless this video and use it for your glory and your honor. I want to pray for all the services today where the word of God is preached, that you bless them in a wonderful way. Lord, I pray for the lost, most of all, that they'll see their need to be saved, those that's never been born again. I pray, God, for those that's back soon, they'll get right with you, and I pray you'd help us all to live for you. So many sick folk, Lord, on our prayer list here at the church and in others, Lord, we pray that, God, you'd raise them up physically, meet their need, Father, as only you can. I pray, God, for our missionaries today, God, that you'd bless them in a wonderful way and just give them souls for their labor. We pray especially for Brother Brent Rochester and Sister Francie and their family, Isaac and Angela and Chloe and Kidron and Micah. And we pray for Chloe especially today, God, that you'd touch her physically as well as Sister Francie, Lord. And just thank you, God, for being so good to us. Help us right now that we might ever do your will. I want to follow your leadership and your guidance and your direction. And help us to do that. And we'll give you glory and honor for it's accomplished. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to be in the book of Luke chapter 19 this morning. And a, a wonderful story here in the Word of God. True story. Amen. A wonderful story here in the Word of God about a man that gets saved. And uh, boy, I'm glad salvation came to his house, Jesus said. And if you've never been born again, I'm glad salvation can come to your house. If you'd repent of your sins, realize you're a sinner, repent of your sins and call on the name of the Lord, thank God God can save you if he hadn't saved you. In Luke 19, we won't get through all this this morning, but we try to get started in it. And the Bible says in Luke chapter 19, verse number one, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. So Jesus is, he's going to Jericho, but he's, he's going to just pass on through. And as he does that, the Bible says there was, behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was chief among the publicans, and he was rich, and he sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree for he was to pass that way. Now, Jesus is passing through Jericho, and uh, there's a big crowd, no doubt. I, I just got this picture in my mind. I could be wrong. I've got this picture in my mind of as he's passing through, the Bible says Zacchaeus couldn't see the Lord for the press. That means the crowd. I've got a picture in my mind of Jesus, and, and both sides of the streets are lined up, and there the disciples are with the Lord, and and everybody's just there watching and, and seeing maybe what he's going to do and who he's going to do something for. And Zacchaeus hears about that thing. And Zacchaeus decides he, he, he needs to go and see the Lord. Now let's find out some things about Zacchaeus. I, I'm probably not going to be telling you anything new, but I want us to think about him today. First of all, the Bible, Bible tells us this man's name. His name was Zacchaeus. And his name meant pure. I want you to think about that. Zacchaeus' name meant pure. Now, he was far from that. He was far from that. He wasn't living up to his name. But after he meets Jesus, thank God he will, because of the blood of Christ and Christ's righteousness that he gives to those of us that are saved. 
Well, the Bible says there was a man named Zacchaeus. Also tells us he was chief among the publicans. He was chief among the publicans. That's not Republicans. That's not Democrats and Republicans. He was chief of the publicans. A publican was a tax collector. Not only was Zacchaeus a tax collector, Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector. The Bible also says that he was rich. So Zacchaeus, I want you to think about it, he's got a big job. Now the Bible also tells us down in here in verse number nine that Zacchaeus is a Jew. So he's a Jew. He's got a big job. He's rich, the Bible says. And if the Bible says you're rich, you mark it down, you're rich. But the Bible also tells us he was chief among the publicans. He was a tax collector. So that being said, him being chief tax collector, he wasn't a very liked man. The tax collectors weren't looked on in high regard in those days. The reason is because they would exact more money from people that they really owed or than they really owed. And because of that, they were kind of robbing people. And not only that, but these tax collectors, these publicans, they were working for the Roman government. They were Jews working for the Roman government, collecting taxes from the other Jewish people. So they weren't very well liked at all. So we kind of get an idea of Zacchaeus' life. He's a Jew. He's got a big job. He's chief of the tax collectors. Not a very well-liked man. He has taken more from people than he should because of his job. He didn't really care a whole lot about others because he was taken from others. I mean, that's what we can see in this story. And we also see that he was rich. But there's something else that we see in verse number three. The Bible says that he sought to see Jesus, who he was. I believe Zacchaeus has heard about Christ. He'd heard about the Lord, and, uh, and he wanted to see the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. I believe Zacchaeus knew in his heart because of him wanting to see the Lord and because of what happens to him later on, Zacchaeus, I don't believe, was a very happy man. You say, preacher, but he was a rich man. Riches won't bring you happiness. Riches won't bring you peace in your heart. Matter of fact, nothing can bring you peace in your heart other than the Lord Jesus Christ being saved by God's grace. Well, Zacchaeus wanted more. He could probably have anything that he wanted to have because he was rich financially, materially. He could probably have anything that he wanted, but he needed something that money couldn't buy. You know, there was a day in my life that I realized I needed something that money couldn't buy, and that was to be saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, saved by the grace of God. I had something missing in my life. I didn't have peace in my heart. Zacchaeus didn't have peace in his heart. So thank God he, he sought the right place to get it. The Bible says he sought to see Jesus. He sought to see Jesus. I like it. I like what it says. I like how this good old authorized King James Bible is written. He sought to see Jesus who he was. I believe he heard about Jesus uh, healing the sick, causing the lame to walk, the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the dumb to talk, the dead raised. I believe he heard about what the Lord had done, and I believe he believed and, and wanted to know more about him. And the Bible says he sought to see Jesus who he was, but he had a problem. The Bible says he couldn't see him because of the press, because of the crowd. There was such a crowd there, gazing, looking, at the Lord that Zacchaeus couldn't see the Lord because of the press, meaning the crowd. Well, the Bible says the reason was that because he was little of stature. He was little of stature. He was a, he was a shorter fellow. I'll just put it that way. And I'm not mean demeaning the shorter people. I'm six foot two, but I'm short compared to some people. Listen, if I were to go if I were to go to an NBA basketball game and stand down, stand down there on the court with those other basketball players, everybody would think I was short because I would be short compared to those. But now Zacchaeus in his day was shorter probably than most people, and he wanted to see the Lord, but he couldn't see the Lord for the crowd. The crowd was in the way. God helped me to not be like the crowd, 
I don't want to be in the way of somebody seeing the Lord. But you know what? If somebody's determined enough to see the Lord, that ain't going to deter them. They're going to do something more. They're not going to give up. And guess what? Zacchaeus so wanted to see the Lord that thank God the Bible says he ran ahead of the crowd and climbed a sycamore tree so that he could see the Lord. Let me read it to you. And when Jesus, or verse four, and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. Now I'm gonna have to close right there because of time. But Lord willing, next Sunday morning, we'll finish out this story about Zacchaeus or we'll, we'll try to, if we don't, we'll do, finish it up, Lord willing, the following Sunday. But I hope this has been a help to you. Thank God for Zacchaeus. Let me just tell you, Zacchaeus gets saved. Praise the Lord. I'm glad that he does. And I hope if you're not saved that you'll get saved. And let me say this in closing. I try to do this about every time. Thank you so much, those of you that share these videos. Thank those of you that subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank those of you that hit the thumbs up button if they're a blessing to you. If each video is a blessing to you, hit that thumbs up button. That'll help us out. That'll help YouTube and the more subscribers will get these videos in front of more people so that they can hear the word of God. And that's what it's all about. And thank you so much for viewing. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Now listen, we have these on Sunday mornings and then we have a Wednesday night one as well. So keep that in mind. If you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll get a notification every time we upload a video to YouTube. So keep that in mind. That way you won't miss anything. But thank you so much for viewing. Until next Sunday morning, God bless you is my prayer.